you know the queen. You know the queen, the queen, queen Elizabeth. Yeah. She uh, has produced three children out of her vagina, and like <laughs> even though she's a queen, she still does that the tr traditional and way. And it's Prince Charles. Okay. Princess Anne. Prince Edward. Yeah. Oh, and Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> we tried to not bring him up. You've left one out, Rich. <laughs> Prince oh, Andrew. No Prince Andrew's a. <laughs> so it's that's why he does. Are you kidding? He sort of works as. A, my belief is he's sort of a. <laughs> and he sort of travels around the country getting contracts and he gets most of the money, but then he lets the people have. I'm uh, not gonna. To get the, that's my understanding. I think, is it all right, Ben, if I just say that's my understanding at the end of that? <laughs> that is no longer libelous. I'm not sure about that. Uh, so I tend not to mention him because, you know, of the whole him being a <laughs> when I When I like to think of the nice, the nice rule. Princess Anne, who's very nice, does a lot of work for Save the Children. <laughs> and the Motor I... Neuron Disease uh, Charity. She does a lot of work. Princess Anne is the best one. If I was in charge, I'd make Princess Anne. The, uh, the queen next. I don't. I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna Prince trust Andrew. you on it. Someone told me that your queen. But don't start talking for a little. Just leave. Just leave two seconds. <laughs> Some of that might not be able to go out. I don't think. <laughs> I think. I think if my listeners hear that I think Princess Anne should be the next queen, they'll be furious. <laughs> That's sex Do you know what? Somebody trying to, to strangle you is a start. <laughs> I, agree, I agree with that. But I'm in is a room. Right? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Are we talking too loud for your conversation? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, we're, we're being... You've got a bad voice, you should, you should be quiet. Because you should be <laughs> yeah, you should rest that. Why is she being so aggressive? God, you told me to stop talking earlier. Because there's a show on. <laughs> <laughs> and look, how awful of me to say be quiet when there's people, there's like 200 people around you. Ah, fuck it, it's audio. 500 people <laughs> around you who've all paid to get in as well, but all they can hear, the people around you, all they can hear is you talking. <laughs> Be a man about this. <laughs> Answer truthfully. Answer truthfully. Is she getting on your tits? <laughs> if you yeah, yeah, yeah. Tits, you fucking offensive. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always me? <laughs> fucking hell. You wait till you see the ratings for this fucking. <laughs> Slam you? See what you've got them in the reds now. <laughs> what's being what's offensive? You've been speaking in quite offensive manner about women generally. <laughs> you think I'm speaking in an offensive manner about women generally? Yeah. What? No, what what bit? What bit? When? <laughs> I don't I don't think he has. What bit? No, quote back to me what. Yeah, we will. Qu <laughs> quote it back to me what I said. It's good that you're keeping control of this, by the way. <laughs> Well, I'm, honestly, I, th I think he wants his badge back. <laughs> <laughs> what have I said offensive about women? What have I said offensive about women? I don't. No, answer that question. <laughs> what have I said offensive about women? Well, earlier you did, you did, you, you made a little comment. You like, you've spoken it up. You didn't even look at me. You were like, uh, oh, whoa! So you think because I told you to be quiet? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Isn't this amazing? Can someone tell Hal Crutton and his show's cancelled? <laughs> um, you, so, so, so you think because you're a woman and I said don't, don't talk when, be, when there's a show on that I was being offensive about women? This is all because I told you to be quiet because you were talking, isn't it? That's all this is about. Wow, okay. Is that all it's about, really? Same. <laughs> And you've not enjoyed it? It's all right, I'm a sulky woman. Okay, that's fine. So, so you came here wanting to enjoy the experience and, and you, because you haven't enjoyed it. So, okay, that's fine. Um, don't make it, he's here though, so don't make it. Um, 
And because you've not enjoyed it, you thought, I'm going to shout and scream and talk all the way through it. You talked all the way through it, though. That's true. No, you did. Yeah. Do you have children, by the way? If your children behaved how you'd behaved here tonight, would you bollock them? No. You fucking should. <laughs> you absolutely should. You should. Your behaviour's appalling. Your behaviour's appalling. And um, I've not been offensive about women or anybody else for that matter. I've literally, I've been speaking to my pal over here. He asked me the question. Some we, of them, can, uh, we can take it. Shut up. Some of, them, <laughs> some of them were very offensive questions, but I understand what he's doing, so we played along with it. I took the tone of going, I'm not going to join in with all this thing. I'll, I'll pretend really. I'm bothered about it. And he said all the other things as well. I've not said one offensive thing, but I fucking can. <laughs> I can. We can do a and by the way, uh, by the way, by the way, you, 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 this is the important bit, the very important bit. You don't get a say in it. This is a great question. What is it like being Stephen Fry? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very hard question to answer. It is. If I answer in a, in a negative way, it sounds ungrateful because um, I have had an extraordinarily fortunate life. Um, I've been able to do an enormous number of things that most people don't get the opportunity to do in terms of travel, meeting people, uh, occasions, things. You know, I get invited to ridiculous, uh, uh, would you like to drive a Formula One car and all that sort of thing. And, and um, I kind of have to pinch myself occasionally. Oh, it's another invitation to the Royal Box at Wimbledon. Should I go this year or not? You know, and I think, <laughs> no, come on, come on, you're lucky. There are people who would give anything for this kind of opportunity. Um, another part of me, and I've made this uh, boringly plain in, in television programmes and other things I won't wank on about, is that uh, I am the victim of my own moods, uh, more than most people are, perhaps, uh, in as much as I have a... I have a, a condition which requires me to take medication so that I don't get either too hyper or too depressed to this point of suicide. Uh, I um, go as far as to tell you that I attempted it last year. Um, so that I'm not always happy, as it's the first time I've said this in public, but I thought I might as well. I'm president of mind, and um, the whole point is, in my role as I see it, is not to be shy and forthcoming about the morbidity and the genuine nature of of um, the likelihood of death amongst people with certain mood disorders if, if they don't look after it, if they, don't, if they think they can do without the medication or the regular visits to a doctor and without taking care of themselves. And um, it, was, it was a close-run thing. Um, I took a huge number of pills with a huge number of vodka and um, the mixture of them made my body convulse so much uh, that I, I broke four ribs, but I was still unconscious. Unfortunately, the producer I was filming at the time came into the hotel room and uh, I was found in a sort of unconscious state and taken back to England and looked after. Um, now, you may say, how can anybody who's got it all uh, be so stupid as to want to end it all? Um, that's the point. There's, just, there's no why. It's not the right question. There's no reason. Uh, if, if there were a reason for it, uh, you could reason someone out of it and you could tell them why they shouldn't take their own life. And some of the most brilliant minds there have been have taken their lives, writers, artists, and people who are not particularly famous but are wonderful people. When I'm conscious, when I'm rational, I realise that being Stephen Fry is a very wonderfully happy thing to be able to be. People are extraordinarily nice to me. That's the, 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 the thing that I, I honestly most get out of it is the, you know, the average cab I get into or the person who stops me in the street is, is not just, oh, can I have a photograph? But they, they really say nice things, um, you know, and, and um, because of books or whatever, they say nice things that, that maybe relate to their own children or to their own lives, which makes one happy to have made a difference. Um, um, so, yeah, mostly it's, it's great. But there are times, and I don't know if you've ever had this, Richard, where you're on stage. I, I spoke about this in the Manic Depression. But, um, but when, I'm, when I'm doing QI, and I'm going, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the next question, and inside I'm going, I want to fucking die. I want to fucking die. Well, so yeah, it is weird that you have to carry on regardless of yeah. what's going on in your life and what, you, what you're feeling. Mm. I, for me, I just kind of... I, 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 I mean, I have de certainly had uh, lonely times and depressed times, and I think like, I went through depressions not on any level mm. of the same as that, but through, throughout. I think because it is a... It's a difficult job because you're high and low. Yeah. Uh, for me, I'm I'm on stage and I've got like voices in my head going, "What if you forget how to speak now? What if you yeah. what so, if you forget how to form letters and you know?" And there's a, what yeah. what if you just forget what's coming up next? Yeah, and there's a kind of evil voice in my head trying to throw me off. Yeah.